Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in my last video, I wrote a website. Let me quickly show you. So it's so lasso and open Firefox and the local host 1111. And this is the website. So let me open talk. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to write some content to this website and make this website a little bit prettier. Simple CSS. Okay, nothing fancy. Let me open Tmux for this video. So inside static, we can create a directory CSS and inside CSS, we can just write style.css. So we are going to work with this. Let's open it. Let me give this window style sheet. And we also need another very important file base.html. So it's base.html. And we are going to basically work with these two files. So let me close it. Uh, do one thing here. Okay, so here I'm going to open style sheet. This is what I want. So inside CSS, open style sheet. So base is basically your entire page. It contains the block and this block is basically whatever the content is. So this is where we are going to add our style sheet. So I already added this line. You might don't have it. So here you can just type link style uh, CSS. And I also want to write some Jinja likes to syntax here, which is just going to do one thing. So if page.title exists, so if page.title exists, then we don't need my block. We are going to use page title so suppose if your block title is something like end hunger in this world this is just going to be your page title too and if there is no page title means basically we are just going to write something boilerplate like welcome to my and we don't forget to end else and if this is important and that's it this is a very cool way to use any custom metadata so now let's just jump into writing css so as you can see i plugged my css file let me move to my css now there are a few things which i do and i'm going to teach you how to write a minimal css in this video so get ready for something which you might don't understand css is painful let's just move on from there so max width 900 this is what i do always because if somebody zoom out or zoom in it will make things cleaner so margin auto so this will keep our page centered so let me save it and let me refresh it to see whether the changes is getting applied or not it's not let me tell you why it's not because i made a css directory so refresh and as you can see now the page is central let's add a border here so we can see what is happening this is what i always do in css i make borders so i can understand the layout now this is the actual page it was zoomed in previously so now in the nav a let's give some padding and i'm going to show you how we are going to transform this page with a little bit CSS. Now there is no content on this page, kind of sucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to download some markdown file, which is going to give me some content. All right. So in my website, is there any way I can get some markdown sample? So let me copy this article because this article doesn't contain any images this is my first vlog on my website and let me move to some other page and go to content and in my blog i'm going to duplicate this article so if i go to my website blog again first blog as you can see we got some content to work with here so let me now go back and do some css padding and let me add some padding into the blog 5px 10px whatever doesn't matter yeah it's looking pretty clean right now and we can change the font add some fonts by using any services which are out there i will not suggest google font but yeah if you want to you can use it it's looking great just go with it so let me add a footer here footer is something which everybody want in their website and copy some money with uh, copyright 2022 to 2023 save it and refresh it so there is no footer here run this thing again so now we got a footer and you can add an hr here hr and hr here this is for this line and this line and that's it like look at your website it's looking so clean it's looking so beautiful i think it, this is what you should go with but in case if you want something you know better you can add some background wallpaper it's pretty easy you can do some research now it's time to see how to host this website so this is not how you host your website this is just for working with it now to host a website you have to write jola build so in order to host this website we are going to use rsync we got this directory public and let me rsync this public directory so public whatever the content inside it let me root into moneyritika.xyz into var www and then site so in my server i don't have rsync installed right now this is why i'm getting this error let me ssh into my server and install apt get install rsync 
and rsync is a tool to sync files between server and uh, any computer and your computer basically or basically two systems okay so let me go into this okay i am in my server right now i think i should change this prompt it's kind of similar so i get confused sometimes so it's saying that skipping directory this is not good i want to move the directory so i'm going to type e e is for directory and that's it uh, the files are moved to my server now so if i write uh, manirithika dot xyz it should get changed but there is some issue so it, it is not changing so let me ssh into my server go to war let's debug into this so it's my site the directory is my site and i accidentally create another directory site so let me delete my site and let me change site to my site all right if i refresh this page so as you can see the website is up and we have a very minimum website but uh, like minimum css but i'm going to show you like how to add some more css and make it more better but i think if you don't know css you should just go with this but i'll make this website looking more beautiful in future all right so things down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you tell me why can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine Around, yeah Now I'm thinking, now, now I'm thinking